everybody welcome back to live thoughts and inspirations channel i am err stories and i am shooting this video right here in tagaytay um tomorrow is december 31st and by next day we will be welcoming another new year year 2020 and i am so excited to be doing this vlog because I hope that through this, I get to inspire fellow millennials to invest in these three things this year, 2020. The first one is you have to invest in a life insurance. Why a life insurance instead of any other insurances? Because as millennials, we got to be um, more of an adventurous type of generation like we get to try this and that and most of you guys get to travel or get to go around and also in a way do a lot of things and some are also like um how do you say this you are like the breadwinners of your family and having a life insurance will more or less um give you the opportunity to be able to to invest for your protection so that when the time comes that you well meet an accident or say you get to to have um a problem with your health then a life insurance will be able to cover up the expenses for you and also give something for your family. There are various types of life insurances and various coverages depending on the service provider that you will have. And the lowest that you could get is a monthly, is an investment with a monthly premium of around 1,800 to 2,200. Back then when I was um, 27, I got a plan for myself and it's pretty good. Um, mine did not in, does not include actually hospitalization but more of really life insurance. And by the grace of God, I'm now on my sixth year of paying my premium. And in 10 years time, I will be done. Okay, actually you have option if you want to pay it in 5 years, 10 years or even in a longer um plan and if you need help or details in terms of life insurances just comment down below because i'll be able to link you with all of my friends who are service providers who are connected with the different life insurances okay so that's number one invest in a life insurance number two is invest in good debt okay what does this mean I am not really encouraging you guys to have a debt, but if ever you get to have a debt, make sure that it's a good debt. What is a good debt? A good debt is something wherein even if you borrow money to be able to finance it, after some time, that um, debt that you invested upon or invested on will be able to give you a good premium or a good return on your investment uh, when the time comes. Okay, what are these things that could be a good source of a good debt? So number one is you can try to invest in, in a condominium like the place where we are staying now. This place is actually owned by um, a millennial couple who is actually who are both working in Singapore and decided to invest in a property here in Tagaytay. Okay. Um, while they are still in Singapore, this property is being used for, um, um, how do you call this, for Airbnb and the likes. And so they get to her have earnings while they are away and still working another example of a good debt could be if you are a photographer and 
your passion and source of income is photography and you needed to buy a new um a new camera that would give you an edge over other photographers then go buy it um you may need to pay it like in installment so it's kind of like a good debt okay why because you got the 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 camera on loan but you're using that camera as an investment for you to earn more or to gain more okay so that's another one um what are the other things i have another millennial friend who um bought a car also on loan and he's also um a seaman so what he does is um when he's in the sh when he's in on board actually his relatives are driving the car under grab and when he's here in the philippines he's the one doing it for himself so there that's a good debt invest in a good debt and the third one which i think is the most important among all the other investments that you can have this 2020 is to invest time your heart and your um communication yeah in developing network good network and a strengthened relationship with your friends families loved ones and most importantly with our creator the lord god almighty what does it mean it means that this 2020 really find time for you to connect to people okay while it is true that sometimes we feel more comfortable when we are on our own but in reality we cannot really do it on our own so build connections build your portfolio and get to touch base also with your old friends those in elementary even in high school and college touch base with them and be the moral support of each other develop also relationship more with your family members uh, send them a text message send them an email make them feel that you love them and of course build a stronger relationship with the lord in this time when we are exposed with a lot of things and a lot of options in life and sometimes there are unfulfilled dreams that we have not yet met there's a tendency for us millennials especially those who are in their 28 30-ish early 30-ish age to be in um how do you call this in a difficult situation because you get to compare yourself with other people or there are dreams that are yet unfulfilled it gives us the feeling of loneliness or um the troubled heart okay but investing meaning spending more time in knowing more um the lord through his words will give you a better sense of purpose okay so those are the three things that every millennial must invest to number one of course is invest in a life insurance you could do auto debit of your account so every month so that you don't get to to worry about the payment anymore and if you don't have anything where to get that fine try to list down your expenses you could get it maybe from your um I see that you get to buy on a daily basis or even from your coffee that you buy in your favorite coffee shop so invest in a life insurance the second one is invest in good debt um, take that risk if you need to invest in a property then do so after pure evaluation of of the pros and the cons okay if you needed to buy a new laptop so that you could have a better way of editing videos for your uh, vlogs <laughs> video tools etc and then do it and the third one is which is really the most important is to invest time and your heart and love to building networks connections strengthening relationship with your 
friends, families, and of course, knowing more of the Lord. So, I hope this vlog has helped you guys.